How do we feel about me kissing them on the mouth? Do I have to eat this too? Okay, what's your idea of perfect Um, literally this. Actually, <laughs> this is a perfect day. The sun's shining. There's these big-eyed freaks eating food out of my lap. That happens a lot, actually. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love a good thrift store, love a tea, but I mean, nothing ever in my life has beat this very moment with my friends. Who are your biggest influences? There's a, a poet and gardener and essayist named Ross Gay, and he's remarkable in his whole, he's written a couple books and, and his whole thing is about finding delight and, and joy and and like the the kind of ability to like pay attention and i think as a as a, a poet and a songwriter like you really need you need that and so now i do this thing every night where i think about the cutest thing that happened to me today so this is pretty easy pretty easy one today <laughs> okay if you could collaborate with any artist that are alive oh uh hoxley workman did he say me yeah <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> what is your most treasured possession? Um, my my grandma passed away uh, about a year and a half ago, and she left me uh, this little weird dish full of angel cards, and um, they're just like these tiny little cardboard slips. But I can I can ask her questions now and have her answer questions for me and. So I feel like I'm talking to her still, and I, I take those with me everywhere. It's really cool. What advice would you give to your younger self for starting out in the uh, I would say um, be more of a bitch. I just think like there's such an impulse to just be liked by everyone, and, and you don't have to do that. You'll find your people. You don't have to be nice to everyone. You just have to do what you think is meaningful and beautiful and, and good in the world. And and then you'll <laughs> you'll you'll find you'll find your community and, and your your people that way. That's sage advice. I need to take that advice. Yeah. I think you're a huge bitch. I'm just kidding. Which I now take as a compliment. I don't want this to end. I'll ask you a question. Okay, if you could ride any animal into battle and every animal is horse-sized, what would you ride? An orca. An orca. Oh god, you're so smart. You're so smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully it's a, it's a sea battle because if it's on land then you're you're yeah, fucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My treats bring all the alpacas to the yard and they're like, "Give me your treats." <laughs> and they're like, Oh! <laughs> we have the same haircut. <laughs> Was that a good sneeze? <laughs> William, we're almost out of treats. Will you still love me in the morning? 